Today we're going to do step one of our autumn aspen painting. This is an example that's finished from a few years ago. And this will take us three days to complete this little painting. It's going to be kind of a little miniature painting. And so what we're gonna work on today is our sky and our grass. And so this is how a lot of artists work. They do so in layers and build their painting up. And so we're not gonna finish it in one day because we don't want our colors to blend together. What I have over here, I have some paint. I have blue, white, and green. That's what we're gonna need today. And I'm going to ask that you definitely push up long sleeves, wear a paint smock, if you have on your nice clothes that you don't want to get any paint on, um, even if you're a very careful painter, your, your neighbor might not be as careful as you. But we're going to try really hard not to get this on you or your clothing. So I'm going to start with my sky. And so I'm going to do some blue and white. You can use any techniques that you want. If you want a smooth sky, you can do it that way. If you want some texture, I like some texture. So I'm going to First, put down some white here. And you can also just adjust it as you go along. Now, I'm not gonna wash my brush. So make sure that if you're sharing paint with a friend or a couple friends that you all agree to be really careful and not just stir it all together because we don't wanna waste paint and that will get your colors all messed up. So now I'm just gonna put in some blue. This, you, you might think, what in the world? That looks kind of messy. So I'm just going to have some texture in, in this painting, and I'm going to start blending these all together. I think I'll add a little bit more white. I'm going to scoop a little bit more white up. And now I'm just going to start kind of blending this together. You can see that I have protected my work surface, so we want to be careful about our tables. You should have something under your work so that our tables don't get paint all over them. And again, think about what technique technique you want to do. If you want really smooth effect, you can blend a little more smoothly. I kind of think I'm going to, I feel like having a little more texture today. And I am going to grab a little bit more white paint over here. Just kind of having some fun with my paint, getting it down. I don't want it too, too rough because then tomorrow when, or the whenever my, my next painting time is, when I am able to add in my trunks and branches, it might be a little bit hard if, if it's too, too much texture. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this a little bit more. If you wanna try some different ideas, if you wanna put some swirls in there, think about Vincent Van Gogh, The Starry Night, or his self-portrait, a lot of swirly appearance to that. I think I'm gonna go back to my just, doing it kinda of like this. You can see it's not all blended into one exact color. And I'm just gonna keep going with this until I get it how I want it. I don't wanna keep going over and over and over and make my paper weak, but just kind of to get it sort of a little bit more uniform or to where it's all kind of the same. If you wanna add more, some areas that are wider in, like maybe it has some clouds somewhere, I do notice that mine is bluer over on this side, over here where I'm working, and a little bit lighter over here. I'm not gonna let that bother me right now, but if that bothers you, then you can add some colors accordingly. If I could add a tiny bit more blue over here, I could add a little more white over here, whatever I think would improve. Now my paint is starting to dry up a little bit and it's starting to get rough. So I feel like I should probably stop about right now and let that be my sky.
All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. So you're going to swirl your brush in the cup. While we're washing the, this brush, if you happen to be a helper that's washing brushes at the sink, one thing that works really well is put the brushes and leave the brushes in the cup and just give it a lot of swirls on the bottom. I'm pushing down to the bottom to try to get this paint off. And that also helps clean the cup. And then you can just dump the water and you'll have a clean brush and a clean cup. So with this paint, I don't want my brush to be too wet. So I'm just drying off the extra water and time for my grass. This green that I'm using, and I am gonna have to check and see what kind of paint that we'll be using for a grass. This is a little bit more on the bluish side rather than the yellow. We know that blue and yellow make green. So I don't happen to have any yellow paint, I don't think. Hmm, let me check. Oh, I do have a little bit of this kind. So hopefully we have some of this too in our art studio. And so we can let you adjust your green how you want your green to look. So that makes it a little bit brighter. And I'm just kind of letting that go up here. I'm gonna just add some texture in. And I probably don't want to blend that yellow all the way in. It's gonna be more interesting if you let your colors not be completely blended. If you let some darker areas, let's get a little bit of this dark green. And so you can see I'm taking my time with this and you may have thought, hey, just grass and sky, that's gonna be done in no time. That's not enough to do in one day, but you can see you can take your time even with just these parts of your painting. If you do something you really, really don't like, I'm gonna ask you to let me know and we're gonna see what we can do to fix it instead of throwing away and starting over. Because there are lots of things we can do and also this is not gonna be the most important part of your work. You're gonna have some trees on top. And so a lot of those things, if you think you didn't like it, they're just going to kind of get uh, blended in anyway. So I can get some of that darker, kind of add a little more texture here. Maybe a little, we'll test this out, see. We can always blend it in if we don't like it. So I just added a little bit more yellow for some highlights. That could also be little flowers that are, some of, some of our autumn flowers have that kind of golden appearance too sometimes. So this is your painting, remember. You do not have to make yours look just like mine. Yours might look completely different. But now this is where we stop today with our grass and our sky. And we are going to super carefully put these in a safe place to dry. Our drying rack will be a good place for these to dry. Forgot to mention before you started painting, and I didn't do this, I didn't put my name. Let's make sure our names are on the back and our teacher codes are on the back. And if you forgot to do that, what you're gonna do is get a scrap paper, write your name and your teacher code on the scrap paper, and then put that under. Let's say this is my scrap paper. I'm gonna carefully put this under here. I could just write my name and my teacher code and then put this on the drying rack. And that way that I know that I'm gonna get my work back for the second step. 